Hello and welcome to the screencast. I'm just going to talk a little bit about node queues and the home page and how that all works. Um, so the ordering of things here um, in these various sections, be it news, events, podcasts and videos, blog, or the deadlines table, is going to be determined by the order of these things in their associated node queues. And uh, this is a, a nice way of allowing the site administrator ultimate flexibility when it comes to the ordering of things on um, the home page. Okay, so there are a few ways that you can go about managing these queues. Probably one of the most direct and uh, immediate ways is to go into, well first of all you have to be logged in with content and, or sorry, uh, site administration privileges. And if you're a site administrator you can go up here to content management, select node queue, and list. And you might also, uh, if you want to, bookmark this URL up here uh, not not what I've got here for you. It'll be veniere.ca slash en admin content node queue slash list, you know. Um, but once you've navigated here, you'll find the location in your location bar, and you can always bookmark that, and it might make it easier for you to navigate back here in the future if you don't want to follow through content management node queue list. Uh, but you can always get here that way, if you prefer. Multiple ways to arrive at the same destination. Okay, so um, you'll notice that you have here a node queue for blog posts, a node queue for deadlines, for events, for news, podcasts and videos, and there also happens to be one for featured members and featured projects. But um, the node queues really aren't so much used for these two here. Um, because items are randomly selected uh, from the pool um, and then displayed on the home page. So order is not important in those two cases, but there are node queues for them nonetheless, in case at some point in the future we wanted to display that information differently. I've supplied node queues for both of those as well. Okay, but the ones to be uh, pay attention to here anyway are blog, deadlines, events, news, and podcasts and videos. And those correspond to their various um, feeds here on the home page. News, events, podcasts and videos, blog, and deadlines. So let's just go back to our node queue lists. Um, so first of all, let's take a look at uh, the node queue for blog. Okay. And I'm just going to open the home page in another tab here, and I just did that by uh, clicking or control click open in link in new tab to just open this in another tab here so that we can go back and forth and take a look. So here's the um, home page. And if we take a look, and I guess that first node queue is the node queue for blog that we've opened up. You'll see the first item here is like history question mark. There's an app for that, activehistory.ca. So if we go and look at our node queue here, um, oh, I see that we actually have a sample blog post here. Let's just navigate through that. And let's take a look. This is a sample blog post that I've added, I think when I was actually creating another screencast. And if we go in and we edit this, what we'll find <clears throat> is that, look, see, it's actually not published. Um, and that is why it's not showing up on the home page. It's not published yet. Whenever any of these content types that uh, appear on the home page ultimately are created, they're automatically added to the node queue, but they won't show up until they've been published. Okay, So if we go back to our node queue, <clears throat> so we had clicked through actually from our node queue to look inspect an individual element, so that's something to notice, is that you can actually click through this link and go and look at the blog post. So that's nice. Um, 
But what we're going to do is actually, let's go into and edit that uh, blog post again. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to delete it because, you know what, we, we don't really want that confusing our exercise here. Okay, so we're back at the node queue now, <clears throat> and it, it might be interesting to note that that sample blog post is now gone for one thing, so when you delete something it's also removed from the queue. And if we go back to our home page, uh, we'll see that, yeah, like history question mark, there's an app for that, and then below that tell and teach Canada's stories, and then Aboriginal stories. So if we go back to the node queue, what we'll see is like history, tell and teach, Aboriginal stories, we can see they're all actually appearing in the same order that they appear here. Now I'm going to open up uh, in yet another tab. I'm going to, and let's just back over this last EN and make it an FR to load the French version of the site. Now, see that spacing um, Montreal or Montreal <laughs> and l'été les vacances de and uh, you don't want to hear much more of my terrible French here, but anyway, these are the, uh, the, the these are the uh, items that are in the blog feed for the French version of the site. Now, if we go back to our node queue, you'll notice that that is the order that they appear here in French. Um, now, this may be a little confusing to you, but um, I mean, hopefully not too bad. Uh, if you just drag and drop and you keep the French in one grouping and the English in another, and just be <clears throat> aware that whatever appears first from the top down, so basically like the order that they appear here top down, will be the same order that they'll appear on the home page. So spacing Montreal and then uh, on down to the last French one will be what appears in the French version of the site. And it is so and then the first English one is like history and the last one is active history on the grand. If we go to the English site, this is what it is here. Okay, so that is how the node queue works and in fact these can be all jumbled up with respect to one another and the order is just important in terms of what comes before what with respect to the top but it might be easier for you and just preserve your sanity if you group the French and the English together with one another um, and you can remove things from the queue here too if you need to and then um, if you want to well we'll go back to removing and then re-adding something to the queue in a minute. Um, so that's uh, the, the queue for, for blog. And there's a similar one. Oh, I see. We've just gone, uh, we just keep hitting the back button and this is where we deleted our sample blog post. I was just trying to get back to, uh, but it's probably easier if we just go content management, node queue, list. <clears throat> and there we are back at the list of node queues. And we were just looking at the one for blogs. If we were to look at the one for deadlines, what we'd see is that the order here of all the English ones is the same as it appears here. And if we were to look at... Uh, just go back again, and we were to view the events queue. Now here I notice that French and English are kind of mixed up together, and maybe this will illustrate my point that here's one French one. So this is at the top, and that will appear at the top of the French uh, feed for events, okay? And where's the next French one? Reunion. Okay, so first we'll see this one, and then we'll see this one on um, the French version of the home page under events. So let's go to the French version of the home page. And sure enough, those are the two French events that are appearing in the home page feed. If we go back to the node queue again, we'll see that this is the first English one 
This is the second English one, this is the third English one, fourth, and fifth. And that is reflected here as well. So it may be simpler for you just from an administration perspective to, uh, these can be moved around by just grabbing that little crosshairs handle, clicking on it, and then you can just drag that item down. And what you may choose to do, and what I'm doing here, is I'm just dragging that all the way down, dragging this stuff around, and now I've grouped the French ones in one spot there, one after the other, and I've grouped all the English ones. And you'll notice that once you move something, it gets one of these orange asterisks next to it, and the footnote here says, changes made to this table will not be saved until the form is submitted. So you're going to have to save for those to be reflected. And now uh, CFP First Conference should be the first thing on the English homepage, and it is. And first thing on the French should be the reunion. And... Uh, it's not because we haven't reloaded the French page since we made our changes. But now that we did, uh, now we reloaded it, you might, you want to be sure of that too, that you reload the page to see your changes reflected. Now you see that they're there. Okay, so that's I think all I'm going to cover in this screencast on the node queue, and I'm going to make this two parts, so I'll talk a little bit more in the next screencast. Thanks for listening.